Right, welcome to one of my new videos. In this video I'm showing how I made this heated water supply for the chickens. It's just a basic 40 mil waste pipe with these uh, little water nipples added. I'll show you one in my hand here. The chickens pack that, you screw that into the pipe, drill a hole, and the chickens have an endless supply of water. Now the problem with this in winter is it freezes and these little nipples freeze up and chickens can't get the water. So I've added a bigger pipe over the top and then uh, filled it with, with expanding foam and drilled some holes so these little things not just protruding through and when the chickens peck at it they get the water. Now I've taken lots of photos as I've gone along and um, later on in this video I'll show you how I constructed it. So this is this is it installed. It's got a um, thermometer inside and a a heat strip which runs along to about here. That is wired up to some batteries with a little uh, sen sensor module in there. You can just see it here. Uh, and that um, heats the water inside. You can set that to about when it gets down to about three degrees to raise the water by a couple of degrees or so just so it stops the water from freezing but hopefully the chickens will have water no matter what the time of year then it's, it's going to be in, at the moment it's not insulated with this short, short section but uh, at some point I'll, I'll uh, insulate that and then all the way it goes into the coop with some more in there, some more water and nipples for them, just like this on another pipe, and then it goes into the uh, container. This you see in front of you is the water container, a, just a 100 litre barrel wrapped in uh, bubble wrap insulation with uh, black shrink wrap or well, pallet wrap that you'd wrap around parcels or pallets tightly wrapped around it just to keep the sun off it and keep it protected and keep it nice and tight to the container then I've got the supply that comes out it's just a hose, hose pipe wrapped with uh, insulation that goes round into the coop into some uh, water nipples in there and then out to outside. The obvious problem with this in, in summer this is fine but in winter it could freeze up where well, it has froze up in winter uh, and I want to try and prevent that obviously that's why I put the insulation around the thick insulation on top and the water goes inside as you can see it's almost empty at the moment and then uh, strapped to the con underneath the insulation is a heat pad uh, which is hooked up to this module here which monitors the temperature and if it gets down to a certain temperature say like 5 centigrade I can have a uh, heat pad come on and warm the water up a little bit to stop it, prevent it from freezing. This is the old watering system that I'm going to upgrade in today. It has uh, 
these water nipples which allow the chickens to uh, get water as and when they require. They have a 24 hour water supply. The only problem is with this is it can freeze up in winter and I wanted to try and uh, rectify that. I have uh, tried to make a makeshift version here but it didn't work out. Um, so I've come up with a better solution. As I've just installed this about uh, half an hour ago, the chickens are still puzzled to what it is. They have had a peck at it. Um, they will uh, hopefully get the idea and start using it soon, but they're still using the temporary water I've added them, given them. So the process was a bit messy at the beginning. Uh, I had a bit of a disaster with the uh, expanding foam. You'll see that later on in the video. Basically, I just started out with a length, two meter length of um, white 40 mil waste pipe. I drilled in six holes for these uh, water nipples. For these water nipples in, hand, in my hand here. I uh, then drew, made six larger holes, as you'll see in the pictures, in the same um, position as where these water nipples are going to be. I then um, placed in the uh, white pipe with the water nipples in and then spaced it out to uh, how I wanted it.
I taped up these water nipples because I didn't want any, any of the expanding foam to get inside them. And, that, and then I sprayed in the expanding foam. Uh, I had a bit of a problem with that. Um, later on I brought another can and had another go at it. This is the Unibon No More Gaps expanding foam that I tried to use yesterday, which ended up in a disaster. This stupid nodule is meant to just click on the top. Most of, most of the ones I've used in the past have screwed on, but this things seems to just try and click on anyway when I tried to use it all the foam just came flaring out of the side at the top here and just went everywhere so later on I went and brought this stuff uh, very easy to use relatively straightforward the uh, tube comes strapped to it, uh, you just lift it up, open the top up, turn it upside down, shake it up and uh, spray some water into the pipe just to help it, help the stuff work. 
and then uh, sprayed it in and uh, I came back the next day today and uh, it all expanded and all seems to have filled the pipe up just like I wanted it to so try and avoid buying this stuff still half a can of it and it's just a big waste Left it overnight, and we came back the next day, cleaned up all the expanding foam, and uh, which had made a bit of a mess of the pipe. So, in the end, I ended up putting insulation tape all the way along the pipe, as you can see here on it, just wrapped it all the way around just to make it look a bit neater and tidier. Uh, Eventually, this pipe here that you can see that's got no insulation on, that will have some insulation wrapped around it and some tape wrapped around it to uh, keep it insulated from the cold. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll update you how it goes on later on in the year if we get any bad frosts check out my other videos thank you for watching goodbye